from the previous classes we have uh, gained many information okay like we can calculate the number of atoms which are present inside that uh, you know unit cell and additionally also we can calculate the packing efficiencies okay how many you know or how much uh, space of that unit cells are you know occupied by that uh, atoms okay or how many you know part of that uh, unit cells are going to be remain as vacant space okay so we can calculate this type of things in this class we will calculate some very important parameters using the information of actually the length of the edge of that unit cell okay so the objective objective of this class is to actually to calculate calculate some important important you can say parameters or informations okay so you can say uh, important parameters parameters of a unit cell or you can say unit cell or a solid okay by using the dimensions okay the cell dimension the unit cell dimension so mainly what is the unit cell dimension unit cell dimension means the length of within bracket you can write the edge length is length okay so unit cell dimension we can say that the uh, meaning of actually unit cell dimension is nothing but edge length okay which is we already uh, in each and every uh, unit cells we already uh, you know have taken the or we have already considered that the uh, edge length is equal to actually uh, we have considered as what well, small you know so we will going to uh, use that length of that edge of the unit cells and we are going to uh, use that edge length to calculate some important parameters of a unit cells and the important parameters are like uh, you know volume of volume of that unit cell of the unit cell okay and uh, second is the density of density of a metal that means the uh, you know the solid of actually okay the, if the solid is metallic solid then we can calculate the density of the metal or we can say the density of the solid okay and number c is number of atoms present in that unit cell okay number of atoms present in that in the unit cell okay unit cell in that unit cell or in that unit cell okay additionally we can also calculate the mass of the atoms okay which is inside the uh, unit cell okay present in that unit cell so this is the main objective of this class actually we will try to calculate the volume of the unit cell density of f metal or the, that solid okay and the number of atoms present in that unit cell and the mass of the atoms by using what by using we're going to use the length of the edge which we have already taken that it is as small a okay interestingly this all the parameters are related to each other by an equation okay so let us first derive that equation because if you know that equation then by using that equation we can calculate one parameter by knowing the other parameters okay so let us suppose the length of the uh, you know edge is equal to small a okay so we have already considered that the length of the you know uh, edges of the unit cell is small a uh, in the previous classes okay so is it possible to calculate the you know the magnitude of this value that means a by using some experimental technique yes we can calculate the value of uh, this magnitude by using a, a very well known analytical technique which is known as actually x-ray crystallography crystallography okay x-ray crystallography or it is known as xrd okay so in higher classes you will be able to understand the 
procedure of calculation of the value of a by using this x radio okay so can you calculate the volume of that cube uh, or you can say that unit cell that means the which is actually cube okay by using the edge length yes because we know that if the length of the one edge is, is equal to a and since in case of a cube all the edges are equal so the volume of the unit cell which is cube is equal to a cube okay again let's suppose the density of the uh, unit cell is small d okay so we know that density of the solid is equal to density is equal to what mass per volume okay so that means mass of the solid divided by the volume of the solid volume of the solid so in case of crystalline solid uh, we know that actually let's suppose this is the crystalline solid okay so the all the actually the constituent particle will be going to arrange in ordered form no so that means what the density of this part will equal to the density of this part okay again we know that actually the solid in case of a crystalline solid the you know the entire solid is formed by what actually the unit cells no the all the actually unit cell one unit cell will going to repeat over and over in the three dimensions to give the entire solid no so that means you know the density of one uh, unit cell is equal to the other unit cells that means uh, what we can say that means the density of one unit cell is equal to the density of the entire solid because the density of the entire solid is uniform because this is a the arrangement of the constituent particles are uniform so what we can say that in place of density of the solid we can write density density of one unit cell okay one unit cell unit cell but in case of density of one unit cell what we can write we can write that mass of mass of one unit cell okay one unit cell divided by the volume of one unit cell so suppose suppose mass of one atom one atom is equal to small m okay so and suppose that uh, this is one okay and suppose that the number of atoms present in that unit cell is equal to number of atoms present in the unit cell is equal to let's suppose z small z okay then what will be the mass of that unit cell so if the mass of the one atom is equal to m and if there will be z atoms will be present in that unit cell then the mass of that uh, unit cell will be what z into m so it will be z into m okay so this is what this is the mass of one unit cell okay so what about the volume of one unit cell so we already know that the volume of the one unit cell is equal to a cube okay because the you know the edge length is equal to a so that means if the density of the unit cell if we write it small d because we here we already suppose that the density of the solid is small d okay and we in case of a crystalline solid the density of the solid is equal to the density of one unit cell because all the you know solid is uniform in nature okay so that means the density will be also uniform throughout the solid so the density of the unit cell will be equal to the density of the solid so we can write here small d okay so it will be equal to z into small a a cube okay so here m represent m represent the mass of one atom okay so can we convert the mass of one atom to the molar mass yes we can because we know that we know that okay mass of one atom mass of one atom which is actually what small m okay is actually the molar mass of that 
molar mass actually let's suppose the molar mass is capital m okay so m capital m represent molar mass okay divided by the abrogado number which is na so that means we can put this value of m here in this uh, equation so d is equal to density is equal to what then z in place of m we can write capital m by na and here a cube so this is the formula okay so this is the formula which we can use to calculate the parameters okay so if let's suppose we we know the density and we know the you know the value of z that means the number of atoms present in the unit cell also the molar mass of that atoms which are present uh, in that unit cell okay and the value of the edge length then we can calculate na okay let's suppose we know the na m z and d then we can calculate the edge length okay and let's suppose we can calculate the edge length by xrd and uh, the we know the value of na which is 6.23 to 10 to 10 by 23 and additionally let's suppose we know the uh, you know uh, molar mass okay and also density then we can calculate the number of you know atoms which are present in the unit cell that means we can uh, you know uh, know the types of unit cell which type of density if it is 4 then it will be fcc if it is uh, 2 it will be bcc if it is 1 then it will be simple cubic unit cell okay so in conclusion what you can say uh, if uh, you know out of these five parameters how many parameters are there you see one two three four five out of these five parameters if we know four parameters then we can calculate the fifth one okay in the next class we will do some numerical problems related to this uh, equation